This video is aimed at advanced developers. It shows how you can pass arbitrary information to a grid component um, when you open the uh, grid from another grid. Um, so you can see here that we have a, uh, a grid component and uh, when I click this uh, button over here it's going to open up um, another grid and then uh, what we'd like to do is be able to pass arbitrary information from this grid over to this grid so that that information so that those variables are available to this grid and then you can see here that in this child grid here we have a button that does an AJAX callback and uh, here um, we're now in this AJAX callback over here uh, we're in the do callback function and we would like to have um, values available to us in this callback that were passed from the parent grid. So let's go about seeing how that can actually be done. So the first thing that you'll notice is that um, when we define this um, the button that um, opens up the child grid over here. So here's the button that's going to open up the child grid. Uh, what we did was um, in the um, in the event handler uh, in the builder here, uh, even though we didn't necessarily want to filter the uh, this child grid, perhaps we wanted to link it. Uh, but so even though we didn't want to filter it, we still created an arbitrary filter of one equals one. And the only reason that we did that uh, was so that the define arguments button would become enabled. If you don't uh, have this uh, defined then the define arguments button uh, doesn't appear. So this this the little trick uh, by just defining an arbitrary filter caused this um, define arguments uh, button to become available and then we press the define button uh, define arguments button and we created arguments for as many of for as many variables that we want to pass to the child grid as uh, as we need. So in this case we define two arguments and you can see that we we bound the first argument to just a literal value. So this is the value we passed in for arg1 and then we bound the second argument to the actual value of the contact name field. But there's a lot of flexibility in how you bind these arguments to values. You can use literal values, you can use sessions, you can use field values, or you can basically use uh, JavaScript functions to do some type of client-side calculation. Um, so there's there's a huge amount of flexibility in actually populating these arguments. So now that these arguments have been populated, we can see now that when we go and we run this grid, um, now, so we're going to run the grid. Now we press this button to open up the child, uh, the child grid, and now inside this child grid, we um, need to get access to those arguments that were passed in. So now, if we go here and we click uh, this button to execute the AJAX callback, if we look inside the uh, E object that was passed in, we can see that inside the E object we'll see a uh, property called e underbar uh, grid current arguments XML. So this is the uh, XML representation of all of the arguments that were um, that were passed into the this grid component and we can actually see that there's the value of arg1 over there in the XML and then there's the value now of um, arg2 which is uh, Maria Anders. So now to actually use those arguments let's go and see the XBasic that we would need to do. So you can see now that what we've done is in the AJAX callback we've added this code over here to create a, a local argument object to populate its XML with the arguments values that were passed in and then we read out the two values over here. So let's quickly go and uh, test that out. So we'll go now to uh, working preview, press the button for Maria Anders over there, click the button uh, and now step through the code quickly and we can see that arg1 has been set and arg2 has been set. So we've successfully passed arbitrary data from the parent grid to the child grid. Thank you very much for watching.